um, fiber to the home uh, is the obvious answer um, to the telco needs today to provide higher data rates um, to subscribers homes but however unfortunately fiber to the home uh, doesn't work in uh, older buildings very well because of high invest and uh, difficult construction so fiber to the distribution point is a technology to accompany fiber to the home rollouts and uh, to help the operator uh, save invest and capital expenditures Our technology is based on uh, central office hardware, so it has carrier grade interoperability. It's a mature solution and uh, it has a very low power consumption. This is something that is particularly important for outdoor units that are operated under industrial temperature range. And uh, our solution is um, uh, specifically targets uh, these kind of um, applications. Um, in, in terms of power consumptions, we are pretty unique. Most of our competitors uh, work with uh, CPE-based hardware, which um, typically uses uh, more power and uh, also can only be deployed end-to-end. -end. This is, by the way, I've mentioned before, interoperability sets us apart from competition. This is very important. Our competitors, uh, they only offer end-to-end -end solutions, so the carrier ha doesn't get the choice of uh, using third-party CPEs, for example. For the service provider, um, one one of the, 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 the biggest benefit of fiber to the distribution point, of course, is he doesn't have to enter uh, the subscriber's home. He doesn't even uh, have to ask for permission of the building owner because the DP box can uh, be installed um, as close as possible to the subscriber's home, but um, outside of the customer's premise. So no um, permission required from a tenant association or from a landlord. Now coming to the benefits, um, for the subscriber. Um, this is completely self-installed, so your, the, the carrier sends you um, a power supply, actually uh, a box like this, and it can be plugged into um, your power outlet in your home. You connect your CPE and uh, the service is up and running. Now from one second to the other, you have from your old, let's say, ADSL service with 60 megabit, you're up to 200 slash 100. Yes, um, the technician uh, will install this box um, anywhere near the subscriber's home. He cuts the existing telephone wires, the, the twisted copper pairs, into um, two pieces, um, plugs one into one side and the other one into the other side, and then uh, the old connection um, is uh, simply looped through as long as the box is not powered yet. Uh, then the technician uh, can install the fiber into this uh, cheap on port and uh, this all this happens within minutes and uh, the subscriber doesn't notice anything maximum one two three minutes service interruption once the subscriber gets um, this power supply sent to his home and plugs it in into the box and loop through the existing uh, um, the, the connection from the CPE this box is powered on and instead of uh, the old service being looped through um, the cheap on connection actually powers on and the new service uh, goes online so this is um, how this works and this is an example from one of our lead customers which is uh, commercially available today